Guys, I have to tell you what's been going on next door to my house. So, if you guys have been following me for a while, the house we moved into doesn't have any neighbors. However, there is a house next door, but it's abandoned. So, I considered it no neighbors, right? Well, it was acquired. It was knocked down. It actually they just finished knocking it down and there will be a house built with somebody living in it by the summer that is what they told me so they the lot over there is very small um, they're literally maybe less than a hundred feet away from my house so um, prayers that we get a good neighbor and a nice neighbor but not too nice i don't want them inviting themselves over all the time <laughs> so if you guys have been following me for a while you know the issue i had at my apartment um so uh, prayers please i need all the prayers i can get so that these people are going to be nice okay so Let's start. It is Friday. It is purse sale Friday. It is my favorite day of the week. So today we have purses. I have one pair of shoes and we're going to do an America's Thrift Supply five piece brand name purse unboxing. Okay, but first we have to go over the ordering instructions. Now, I'm not going to go over them completely with you like I do in the beginning of every video. I'm just going to put up the ordering instructions. If you if you fast forward and miss probably the four times I put this up on the screen, then I can't help you, I'm sorry. <laughs> so you have to read the ordering instructions and follow them unless I'm just gonna skip over your email, I'm sorry. I The, the amount of emails that I get is very overwhelming. Um, and trying to get back to everybody as fast as I can is super anxiety ridden. So please just, everything is on the screen for the ordering instructions. The most important part is to check the sold list and refresh the video after you watch so you can get the most up to date list. Okay. Okay. So let's show the ordering instructions and then we'll get started. Okay guys, so we're just gonna jump right into it. So the first part of the, the um, I'm gonna say the first part of the movie, the first part of the video are the clearance section purses, which are the purses from last week that didn't sell. We're gonna lower the price to try to get them a new home this week. Um, so the first one up is the Kate Spade Ella backpack. Okay, this is new with tags brand new with the tags. Um, this is a $399 backpack. It was dropped down to $389 on the tag. It is a um, beige, beigey blush color nylon quilted backpack by Kate Spade. As you can see, it's more of a regular size backpack versus a um, purse size backpack. Um, this is all embroidered stitching. Um, this is a big, chunky front pocket that zips. The handles are um, adjustable and in a gold tone metal. It is in new condition as well as being new with tags. Um, it has the leather handle on top and the inside still has all the original paper. And on the inside, you have your branding with a big slip pocket and two smaller slip pockets. And then this side, you have your card slots and a zipper pocket. So brand new Kate Spade Ella backpack in like a blush beige. Um, these are still selling for $200 and up online. I'm sorry, $250 up online. Um, on eBay and Posh. Again, this says $389.99 on the tag. We are going to drop this down to $200 and that is it. It's going up on eBay and Posh for probably close to $300. So get it while you can at $200, brand new with the tags. 
Then we also had another Kate Spade brand new with the tags. This one is the um, Spade Flower Mini Cam Bag in Dark Beige. Okay, so this is a crossbody. You have beige leather, and then you have the like um, PV or whatever they call that um, with the spades. It's a spade flower. It's like a beige and dark beige. It is a smaller size crossbody. I actually love this size and this shape. I love the camera bags. Um, it is brand new with tag and in new condition. Um, Two seventy nine on the price tag. You have a back slip pocket, and then it's all gold tone metal. The, um, whoops, don't wanna rip that off. The pocket, I mean the closure on the top. I feel fuzzy. Um, and then the inside has the original paper, and it has your branding with a slip and nothing on that side, and a large phone will fit perfectly with room to spare. <laughs> um, so this one is $279 on the price tag and I'm going to drop it down to $95. If it does not sell today, it will go up on Posh and eBay for probably $150. All right, so next up we had the 3.1 Philip Lim black faux leather crossbody bag. This is 3.1 Philip Lim. Oh my gosh, <laughs> feel a fuzz. Um, it is in really, really nice condition. Um, this does not function. It is just a magnet opening right here for the pocket. You have big, chunky hardware. You can zip this up if you want to make the bag a little bit smaller, like so. And that's what it looks like open. Big chunky gold tone hardware with the logo, the written out name on both sides. Excellent condition. So you have the little top handles and then you have a removable and adjustable crossbody strap. It will stay a crossbody, not shoulder. Well, it will be shoulder, but it'll be longer. The inside does have a zipper closure. And then you have your branding right there, 3.1 Philip Lim and the um, zipper pocket and slips. So for the 3.1 Philip Lim, this is selling right now on eBay and Posh for $125 and up. It is not real leather. I will offer it today for 40. All right, now we have the WG calf hair crossbody. I am shocked nobody snagged this. It is in like perfect condition. It is gonna be so cute for festivals and country music concerts this summer or just a fun bag in general. This is all calf hair or hide on hair, whatever you wanna call it. And it is in excellent condition. Beautiful back and front corners, beautiful. And then you have a leather brown leather crossbody strap that can be adjusted, gold tone hardware, it actually looks like brass, um, but it will stay a crossbody. The strap is in excellent condition. You have a snap closure here on the front. And then you have the interior. The interior does have a leather pocket with the raw suede on the back. So that's what all this little fuzzies is. It's the back of the inside of the pocket where the raw suede is. There's your W and G, so you have the two leather slip pockets in there. And that's the back of the snap, okay? So really nice condition, really fun boho um, calf hair crossbody by WG, $40. Then we had, then we had the Jack Georges. So if you like Portland leather, you're gonna like a bag like this, the very thick leather. Um, it is a crossbody bag. It has the leather on the front side, the canvas on the other side of the strap. It is adjustable, silver tone hardware. Um, 
you have the front here, which is the flap closure. Jack George George's on the side. You have a zipper pocket on the back. Jack George is there as well. Corners are great. Um, this bag is in excellent condition. It will darken over time with age and the oils on your hands. It is a magnet flap closure. You have the raw suede here, um, slip pocket here. Then the interior is in beautiful condition. It has the signature striped interior, zipper pocket, and slip. So beautiful Jack George's crossbody in a brown leather, and we're gonna drop this one to $40. All right, then we had the Hobo International. Um, I actually did get the mothball smell out of this, so I don't even think it registers as a half a point on the Kristen D. Stinko meter, so I am yeah, I'm pretty confident to say I do not smell mothballs in this. This is a beautiful pink leather Hobo International tote shoulder bag. Um, it has a pocket, a slip pocket on both sides. The leather strap can be adjusted a little bit longer or shorter. It has a wider top for the um, top of the shoulder. And the corners on this have a teeny itty bitty itty bit little bit of wear teeny itty bitty bit itty bitty bit <laughs> itty bitty bit of wear but it is a gorgeous large hobo international I love it it has a magnet closure and it is one section one compartment on the inside And there is your branding there, your slip and zip, and more slip pockets. All right, silica packs, beautiful interior. Um, you have a key little fob holder. So really great and does not smell like mothballs anymore. So for the pink leather, Hobo International, $50, five zero. Then we had the Katarina Lucci. I'm shocked nobody snagged this. This was a really cool, this is a really cool bag. It is just a handbag. Um, and there are no loops for a crossbody, but this is so nice. If you like soft leather, this is for you. It is a larger size tote. You have all these dangles on it, some chains, you got some rhinestones on there, you got a fringe here, and you got all these little ties and tassels everywhere. This is another bag that the leather will darken over time and with the oils on your hands. You have some nice whip stitched shoulder, I mean, um, hand handles. You have the little tassels all over the back as well. It is in really great condition, bottom and corners. The handles do have a little bit of darkening on the top because of the oils on the hands. It is an antique gold tone hardware. The inside has a zipper closure and it is one compartment. And the inside you have a nice big slip pocket that buttons. And then you have a zipper pocket with more slips there and that is your branding. So Katerina Lucci, made in Italy, genuine leather beautiful and we're dropping this down to $45 you guys that's unheard of $45 for this large leather bag made in Italy then we had the Ameri leather this is also a larger style tote bag it does have longer shoulder straps though so you can wear this over the shoulder this is genuine leather it is a very thick pebbled almost like orangey tan color it's showing up a little darker on camera. It is kind of more like an orangey tan, but not like super bright. Um, so it is beautiful. It's definitely a tan, but it has like an orange like tint to it. So you have the really beautiful leather all the way around. Um, it is in really, really great condition. The handles are a beautiful braided leather, um, gold tone hardware. Now inside you have a lot going on. So you have pockets, side pockets on each side, and then you have the main compartment which has a zipper closure. 
So one side here, snap pocket, that's all the logos. All right, nothing in there. Then the other side has a snap pocket, nothing in there. Then you have the middle zip section, which has a center section that is zippered. So in this section, one side has your uh, zip pocket with a key fob. Then you have the middle zip section. And then the other section has slip pockets. And that's just a little fuzz, a little piece of paper. So, lot of compartments. You got a, a mini little filing cabinet here, a Merry Leather, and it is beautiful, and it is $40. $40 for this, you guys. That's insanity. All right, then we had the Bodie Brown Leather Shoulder Bag, this little cutie. Um, it is a nice thick leather as well, B-O-D-H-I. Uh, gold tone hardware, little bit of wear on the hardware, nothing serious. Uh, shoulder strap is in great condition. You have all of these studs on the front and they say Bodie. Um, it says Bodie right here. There is some scratching to the turn lock, um, but other than that, she's good. Corners, bottom are great. You have a back slip pocket that has a snap closure. So you're going to open up the turn lock and on the inside we have a nice one compartment and then the inside says, those who are free of resentful thoughts surely find peace. Right there, then your zipper pocket and you have two slip pockets. Okay, so for the Bodhi shoulder bag, we're dropping this one down to only $25, you guys, $25. Okay, let's pause for a second so we can put up the ordering instructions again. Okay, so just make sure you're checking the sold list. You'll know if something's available if you check the list. Um, you just refresh the video when you're done watching it. Go out of the video, come back in, and you'll be able to see the most up-to-date sold list. And I have the pending list. That means I sent an invoice to somebody and I'm waiting for them to pay. Um, so you'll know if something's available if you check the list. Okay, so next up we have uh, DMR Touch. This is a faux, this is just a fabric bag. It's not leather. It is a large tote bag. It has this really cool big pocket that snaps on the front. It goes all the way down. It has these awesome acrylic um, stones and then it has all these metal flower studs all the way around and the, the um, black fabric has kind of like a shimmer to it no pockets excellent condition faux leather on the corners faux leather handles excellent condition it does have a um, it does have loops for a crossbody strap it does not come with it though um, then you have the top that has a little um, little flap closure, and it has a zipper closure. Double closure, one section on the inside. DMR touch with your zipper pocket and your slips. So nice big tote shoulder bag, really unique. It can have a crossbody strap, um, as is $45. Then we had the black leather treasure and bond. I want to say that this is um, an anthropology brand, but I'm not sure. So this is a beautiful classic black leather shoulder bag. It can be adjusted, but it will stay a shoulder bag. It is uh, silver tone hardware, nice sturdy strap on this. Um, it has beautiful thick black leather. You have a nice leather tassel here. You have a tassel on the front zipper. You have treasure and bond right here. It is in excellent condition. All the way around. Flap closure with a magnet right here. Um, there is a little bit of discoloration along the top here, um, but the rest of the bag is in great, great condition. You have your treasure and bond, your zipper pocket, and some card slots. So for the treasure and bond, 
um, black leather crossbody bag. We are dropping this down to $30. The only problem with this um, renovation next door, I should say building next door, is that Dallas barks and growls all day long. So that's fun. Um, all right, so next up we had, let me take these guys down. All right, next up we had the Chala. So this is a faux leather crossbody and um, shoulder bag. It is brand new with the tag, Chala, and it has a beautiful sunflower motif on it. You have a pocket in the front. It is black, brown, and green faux leather. All of the straps are removable and adjustable, so you can decide what straps you want on it um and then the inside is a zipper closure and it has some card slots so a big old phone like mine does fit with no problems um brand new with the tag super cute chala and we're gonna do this dropping it only to twenty dollars Next up, we had the blue nylon and leather Kate Spade crossbody. It is a smaller size, but perfect for everything, just your essentials that you need. Um, gold tone on the leather here. You have a pocket here in the front. Nothing on the back. Does have um, leather on the corners, which are in great condition. The corners of the nylon, though, have just a teeny itty bit of rub. It's more like a stain than a rub, but there is like a teeny little bit of wear going on on each corner, just a little itty bitty bit. The handle, uh, the strap is fine, crossbody. You can adjust it. It will stay a crossbody, though. Uh, gold tone hardware, and I think this one had, yeah, this one had a little bit of the edge coat coming off right there right here um the inside is a zipper closure and the inside is really really nice you have your slip pocket and your striped um fabric so kate spade blue nylon and leather and we are going to drop this down to 38 dollars. 38. next up we had the long chomp this one is a black nylon and leather shoulder bag, strict shoulder bag. You have the Long Chomp logo right here on the front. You have the leather handle. Um, there is a silver tone Long Chomp pull right there. It is in excellent condition all the way around. Um, the pull is a, opens it up to one compartment. And it is very clean inside and you have a slip pocket against the wall right here with your tag and your serial number so the long chomp shoulder bag in black leather and nylon and we are dropping this one down to 48 dollars all right next up we had the michael kors wristlet in a maroon um, Safiano leather. You have the gunmetal um, nameplate and studs. There is very, very light wear to some of the studs. Like some of them have just a little bit of wear, but not all of them. There's like maybe three that have some wear to them. But other than that, it is in excellent condition. It is a wristlet. You can use it just as a pouch in your purse if you would like. Pull is really nice. Then the inside you have, this is a Michael by Michael Kors. You have your slip pocket and card slots. So for the Michael Kors maroon um, gunmetal wristlet, we're dropping it down to $20. And then last but not least, we have the um, Michael Kors from the Thread Up box I opened last week. I did fix it up for you. Um, so it is the black leather, black pebbled leather shoulder bag. Um, excellent condition now. It's in excellent condition all the way around. Um, you got your gold tone hang tag, beautiful pebbled black leather. I fixed up the corners, so now there is no wear to the corners. Okay. 
Um, chain detailing on the handles are excellent. I removed all of the edge coat, so now you just have the raw leather on the sides. Um, it's not going to affect the structure of the bag. It's just going to be the raw leather. Um, so it's not a big deal. It just doesn't have that nice smooth edging, but they are good to go now. Um, the inside is a snap closure and you have three sections. So one section here, this is a Michael by Michael Kors. You have your zip and two slips and key fob. Then you have your middle section, which is a zipper closure. And that has nothing in it. And then you have the last section and that has your slip pockets. So really beautiful bag now that I put my Kristen D touch on it. And um, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this only down to 48. I had it at 50, but I did put some work into it. I really shouldn't have lowered it at all with all the work I put into it, but we're gonna do 48. I'd rather see it get to a good home. All right, so that concludes the clearance section. So let me put up the order instructions and we will continue. Okay, so again, please check the sold list. You don't need to ask me if a purse is available if you check the list. Refresh it after you watch the video so you can see the most up-to-date list. Go out of the video, come back in, and that refreshes it if you don't know how to refresh it by just pressing the little circle button on your phone, tablet, or computer. Okay, so first up is a Perlina Beautiful handbag or shoulder bag. So this is Perlina. It is a black and blue leather. I conditioned this. It came out beautiful. So it has, it's like a medium size little satchel. Um, it does have silver tone hardware and you pull this down. Hold on. Nope. You push it up <laughs> to open up the front pocket here. And then you just push it in. Um, the bottom and corners are in really great condition. Okay, you have top handles which are in great condition and you also have a removable and adjustable shoulder strap. It will only be a shoulder strap, okay, not crossbody. The interior has no closure, but there is a middle zip compartment and one side of the bag, so we'll start in the back, has your Perlina with your zipper pocket. Then you have your middle zip section. And then, wait, did I just see something wrong? Yeah, so there is, it looks like, it looks like um, the leather has ripped off right there on the pull. So I just noticed that. So there's a little bit of the leather missing on the pull for the middle zip section. And then the other side has your slip pockets. All right, so I did not notice that. So we will adjust the price accordingly. So I had this at 50 because there is a little bit of a, like a, I don't know what's wrong with that leather. It's not there on the pull, but I'll drop it down to 48. So 48 on the Perlina and I will note that um, I'll have to, let me put that in my phone so I remember that I dropped the price. Um, 48 on Perlina. Okay. Okay. Got it. All right. Next up, we have a few Brightons. Um, so please make sure you're giving me a timestamp, a screenshot, you know, whatever you can to help me invoice you correctly. So this is the first Brighton. It is beautiful. It is a shoulder bag. It has black pebbled leather with the brown croc embossed leather. You have this beautiful like horse bit silver um, detailing in the front. You have your hang tag right here. Beautiful um, rope detailed hardware. There's the back. You do have a zipper pocket on the back. The bottom and corners are in excellent condition. You have some feet as well. 
gorgeous. It is a beautiful, like woven, um, rounded um, handle, single shoulder handle. And then the inside is a zipper closure. And then you have one compartment on the inside. You have the Brighton Creed right there, zip and slips and nothing on that side. So really beautiful Brighton shoulder bag and we're gonna do this one for 60, six zero. Next up we have the, this one's super cute for the summertime. We have a Brighton little sunflower bag. It is a woven hand bag, a little tote um, with leather detailing. So you have your uh, Brighton right here, your Brighton hang tag. This is all metal with um, white enamel and rhinestones. Um, it does, some of, the, some of the metal needs to be um, polished up a little bit, but everything is there. And then you have all of this leather work, very beautiful. The handles at the very top do have a little bit of discoloration on the white, but it is not terrible. You have the yellow on the other side, which is really pretty. The bottom is in really great condition. A little teeny bit of wear to the feet, but other than that, it's really beautiful. And then the inside has a flap over closure that is a magnet with one section on the inside. You have your Creed there with zip and slips, key fob, and a zip there. Beautiful little summer bag by Brighton, and we're gonna do this one for 40, four zero. Next Brighton we have, this one is so cool. So this is the next Brighton. I love this one. It is structured. I do not have any stuffing in this one. Um, the handles are a little sideways, so if you want that fixed, I would just rubber band them together like this, but it's not too big of a deal. It is a smaller, Brighton, it is red pebbled leather with the crock embossed as well. You have your Brighton hang tag along with some red uh, metal detailing. You have a pocket on the back. Um, the bottom and corners, they're in good condition. There's like a teeny, you guys can't even see it. It's like a teeny itty bitty bit of wear, but it's really nothing bad. Like. See that little bit right there? Teeny little bit on the edge there, but not terrible. Handles are beautiful. Um, and then on the inside, you're gonna lift this flap and there is pen right here, but it's on the other side of the flap, so you're not gonna see that. And then there's the closure for the bag. And then on the inside, you have your Brighton Creed, which has a little discoloration on it, slip and zip, and nothing on that side. All right, really pretty. I've never seen a Brighton like this. It does have some teeny tiny little issues. Um, phone will fit. And um, for the Brighton Red, $48. I'm probably not gonna drop this down any lower. Um, so grab this while you can, otherwise I think I might just put it up on eBay and Posh if it doesn't sell today. So 48 for the bright and red. All right, let's put you over here. All right, then the last Brighton we have is kind of known as like a wallet on a chain. Um, it is a crossbody bag. You can adjust it probably to be a, a shoulder. It has silver tone hardware. The chain is adjustable and removable, and it is like this um, beige and brown um, snake print patent leather with the beautiful detailing on silver tone on the front. It has a like a bronze, um, it's almost like a silvery bronze, if that makes sense, like a dark silver, maybe dark silver metallic leather um, de uh, detailing. You have a back zipper pocket, this, this one's in really great condition. I'm not really sure anyone even used it. Um, but you have the leather. It is more definitely more of like a dark silver metallic. So you can put your ID in there. You have a slot there. Then you have all of this. 
you do, that is a little glue residue from, you know, when they make the bag. Um, there's your Brighton, you have all these card slots, all these card slots, and then in here you have a zippered section. And all of this is in really, really nice condition. No staining, no coin residue, nothing. So that's why I said I'm not sure anyone even carried this. Um, if you wanted to put your phone in here, you can. I have a pop socket and a case on. I would at least, if you have a pop socket, to take that off. But it does fit um, even with the pop socket on and it does button, but as you can see, it kind of sticks out. So I would take the pop socket off and maybe even the case if you wanted it to fit the best that it can. Okay, so for the Brighton wallet on a chain, we are going to do $30. All right, next up we have, if you want to really stand out for the spring and summer, not only do I have that one and that one, but I have this one. This is an Isabella Fiore. This is like a neon coral. Um, it's coming off a little bit dark on camera it is um, like a coral pink and it is bright. It is super bright. It is Isabella Fiore. It is a crossbody. It has some chain detailing and gold tone on the top. I'm thinking that you can maybe take the chain off and adjust it. I'm not exactly sure, but it is a crossbody and it can be adjusted. Um, and it is like a medium size, really, really, really pretty. I love this bag. I love the stitching on it. I love the little pleats on the sides. So you have um, the Isabella Fiori's on the back here. Beautiful. Okay, corners and bottom are excellent. To get into the bag, you lift the snap, snap flap, and then it has another snap closure. This bag is so bright, you guys. You guys don't even, you can't even see it in the video. Clean interior, Isabella Fiore, zip and slip. Beautiful, bright coral, corally pink, and Isabella Fiore, $48. Start putting you guys on that side. All right, next up we have this fun one. This is by America and Beyond. I just thought this was cute. It is a full fabric bag. Um, you can make it a crossbody or shoulder. It has a canvas strap that is adjustable with silver tone hardware. It is removable as well, so you can put on your own guitar strap if you want. You have all of this beadwork that I just thought was so cool. Beadwork, um, sequin, and embroidery, okay, with the beautiful butterfly on the front. And then you have some like pom-poms along the sides with some really cool like geometric fabric. The back has a zipper pocket and you have top handle, but of course you have the adjustable shoulder crossbody. It is in excellent condition. It might need a sweater shave, but um, other than that, it's really nice. And then you have a zipper closure on the top, one compartment on the inside. America and beyond with your zipper closure and your slips. So really cute little bag, little tote bag by America and beyond, $30. Next up, I love this one. This is by Vince Camuto. Look at how cute and beautiful this is. So this is a dark blue Vince Camuto leather crossbody bag. You can adjust it silver tone hardware, and you can remove the strap as well, but it's going to stay a crossbody bag. Look at the print on this. You can wear this during the day, and you can carry it right into the night with this color combo. This is the Vince Camuto logo right here in silver tone. Um, you have nothing on the back. Now, there is some wear on the corners, the white, but, you don't really notice it because of the colors of the bag. So there is a little bit of rubbing on the um, corners, but it kind of blends in with the bag. Um, and even up here on the corner as well. But again, it blends in 
with the coloring of the bag. So I decided to still go ahead and get it. It has a zipper pop, zipper closure on the top and look at all this organization, you guys. It's like a mini filing cabinet. So the um, back section here has a slip pocket. Then the middle section here has nothing. Then the front section here has card slots, okay? So a phone will fit in the, oh, maybe not. Oh yes, okay. So it will fit in the front section, not in the middle. My, my phone is a big iPhone 13 Pro Max. The middle compartment, it does not fit in, but it does fit in the back and the front, okay? So Vince Camuto blue leather crossbody bag, couple little rubs on the corners, and we're gonna do this for 40. All right, then we have, okay, so this one's so cute. So I had bought a lot of purses, like a purse lot from a website, and this was one of the purses in it, and I didn't know, like they didn't give me like a rundown of the brands, they just gave pictures. So I was like, oh, that, that bag is actually really cute. But I got it and it's not branded and it's not leather, but it is really stinking cute. So this is what it looks like. It kind of reminds me of for Nash, for Nash with that, but there's no branding on it and nothing came up when I Google image searched it. It is not leather, but it is a really good quality faux leather. It has a beautiful chain, um, gold tone chain detailing and it can be a crossbody or you can double the strap and make it a shoulder bag. It is a beautiful red quilted faux leather. I mean, you guys, this bag is so nice and it's like the quality is so great. The um, condition is literally perfect. You have a little pocket on the back. Okay, excellent condition. This is like a black enamel and you turn it to open it it's absolutely gorgeous you guys like this looks so expensive but there's no markings in it you got a zip pocket there and a, a slip there no markings in it nothing comes up on a google search phone fits great it's not leather even though it might fool everybody i think it is so beautiful um, shoulder to cross body so the red unbranded you can just call it the red quilted or red unbranded $25 that's what we're so we're gonna do on that one so so pretty all right then we have a another unbranded this is made in Italy and it is genuine leather and I just thought it was the cutest little purse so it is pretty small but it is big enough to hold your essentials. Um, it is a crossbody bag. It does not adjust, but it does remove. It has silver tone hardware, and then it has this big, like applied 3D flower on the front in leather. The purple leather is beautiful and in excellent condition. And then you have the inside, which is a zipper closure. And it says right there, genuine leather made in Italy with your zipper pocket. And okay, so my big old phone will not fit unless you wanna keep it open. So iPhone 13 Pro Max will not fit unless you wanna keep it open. Um, so for this one, purple leather, you can just call it the Italian purple leather or purple unbranded or purple rose purse, purple flower purse, $28. So cute. Okay, next up, this one's really cool. This one's by The Sack. I don't think I've ever seen a bag by The Sack that looks like this. It looks so fancy. So it is all leather. It is um, a couple different shades of green. You have the dark green, a lighter green with the snake embossed, and then you have this like almost olivey army green. And then you have a dark green suede right here. All right, silver tone hardware. This is a crossbody. You can adjust it to be a shoulder bag. Silver tone hardware. Um, the strap is also removable. 
So on the front here, you may have just a couple little spots right there. Um, this is just a little handle if you wanted to take the strap off and use it as a clutch. Um, then you have a pocket. Oh, let me show you the back first. There's the pocket on the back. A little spot right there. Corners and bottom, though, are excellent. So now the inside, you lift this flap that it is a um, magnet snap pocket here. Then you have a zipper closure. And then the interior is your traditional sack interior with the zipper and slips. Beautiful, clean interior, couple teeny little spots on the outside, really fun. Um, there's like four different color green leather and suede on this. Uh, the sack, $40, beautiful. <clears throat> okay, now we're gonna get into the Michael Kors, which are all up here. So just make sure you're giving me a, a timestamp screenshot so I can invoice you correctly. Make sure you're checking the sold list. You'll know if something's available if you check the list. So the first um, Michael Kors we're gonna look at is this one. This one is literally in like new condition without the tag. This is pink, okay? I don't know what color it's coming off on the camera. This is pink 100% all day. Um, it is like a robust pink. It's bright, but it's not like neon. Michael Kors, it is a crossbody. You can adjust it, but it's going to stay a crossbody. Beautiful gold tone hardware. Like I said, it's in like new condition. You have, oh, you also have the top handle if you would like, and the um, crossbody strap can remove, okay? Crossbody strap, removable, adjustable, and you do have a shoulder or hand strap right here that has the gold tone chain detail on it in excellent condition. The plate here is maybe has like a scratch or two. You have the beautiful tassel that says Michael Kors. The bottom and corners are excellent. That There's the back. You open up the bag like so. You have a flap section here that goes all the way to the bottom of the bag. Excellent condition. You have the, you have a little um, snap section here in the front that has card slots. <laughs> then you have the main compartment of the bag. And this has your branding. This is a Michael by Michael Kors slip, slips and zip and nothing on that side. So like new condition. The only thing, the only flaw on this is there's a little scratch on the front plate here. Otherwise beautiful pink pebbled leather Michael Kors. And we're going to do this one for $68, $68. Next up, we have a, this one's really cool. I've never seen a Michael Kors like this. It is um, the Saffiano leather and regular leather. You have a green leather crossbody strap. It will stay crossbody. Gold tone hardware. You can remove this strap if you would like to just use this as the handle for the handbag. Excellent condition on the hardware. You have your little Michael Kors hang tag right there. You have this um, plate here on the front, which is in great condition. This is, um, I almost said blue, green leather. Excellent condition. Bottom and corners, you have a slip pocket here on the back. All right, excellent, excellent, excellent. So now we're gonna open up the bag and you pull this down and look at that. How pretty is that? Then you open it like so, more green, I love it. You have your front pocket here and then the inside has two compartments. So this is a Michael Kors. This is the top of the line, Michael Kors collection, top of the line, it is all leather on the inside. And then you have a slip pocket on in this pocket here, okay? 
really great condition beautiful a unique I've never seen one like this before so cute all right so this one is going to be 60 six zero all right next up we have this one this one is like an orange red okay it's orange red that's really what I well I can say about it it looks a little orange but then it looks a little red so this is a Michael Kors crossbody. It is a strict crossbody bag. It can be adjusted, not removed. Gold tone hardware, excellent condition. On the strap, you have a little teeny little bit of wear on the front here, nothing serious, all gold tone. Um, the back has a slip pocket. The back also has two lines, one, two, right there. And I think that was it. Bottom and corners are really great. Yeah, I think that was it. Um, to open up the bag, you pinch in and open. You can remove the handle. Actually, you can remove it. You can remove it. So you can make it a clutch if you want or change the handle completely. You have this front section here and then the main compartment of the bag, you have a zipper section. And then you have this slip pocket. And then the main section of the bag, this is a Michael by Michael Kors. You have some card slots. My big old phone does fit. Again, if you want a better fit, if you have a pop socket, I would take that off. But it does fit, Michael by Michael Kors. A little bit of Scratching on the front, nothing serious. Two marks on the back there. Orange, red, Safiano leather. Michael by Michael Kors. And we're gonna do this one for 45. All right, next we have this one. I'm gonna bring both of these down. Okay, so now we have a nice classic black pebbled leather. Michael Kors crossbody. Strap is in excellent condition. Gold tone hardware. It is adjustable, but it will stay a crossbody bag. Beautiful pebbled leather. You have a, um, just some smush. I conditioned the bag, so it might be some conditioner on there, but the hardware is in great condition. You have a zipper pocket here on the front. That's the back. Here's the corners. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Gold tone Michael Kors across the top. You have a zipper closure on the top. <clears throat> this one is also the top of the line Michael Kors, the Michael Kors collection. You have the slip pocket there and then another slip pocket on that side. All right, so Michael Kors, top of the line, nice black pebbled leather crossbody. And we're gonna do this one for 45. <clears throat> okay, then we have, oh, I didn't, I didn't put a price for this one. All right, so this one is Michael Kors, but it doesn't have a hang tag. Um, I wasn't going to get it, but I figured maybe somebody wants it for the summer. It's still a really cute bag. Um, it is Michael Kors. This is all like that, like woven straw with the patent pink leather piping. But same on both sides. Really nice condition. Um, there's just a couple little spots that have like some nicks in the patent leather. You, you, you can't see that, but there's like maybe two or three little nicks in the patent leather and then like one right there. And then there's, where is it? Like one right Like one right there, like teeny little nicks here and there. Um, and then you saw there's a little mark right there on the patent leather, but I just thought it was still pretty for a summer bag. Gold tone hardware with the chain patent leather links and then the patent leather on the strap. Straps are in excellent condition. To get into the bag, it is a uh, snap closure. One compartment on the inside. 
This is a Michael by Michael Kors, which is a little bit lesser, a little bit less expensive of the line. You have your canvas interior, zip and slips, and more slips. So just a couple little nicks in the patent leather around the edging. Um, some clear nail polish around the edge will completely stop any more of that from happening. So for this Michael Kors, um, I didn't put a price on here. I'll do it for just 40, okay? 40 bucks on the Michael Kors. So let me write that down too in my notes so I don't forget. And then 40 MK straw, I'll put, okay. Can you tell next door is really distracting me? I'm like, what's going on? I don't want any neighbors. Okay, so um, let's keep going. And we have this really cool bag by Claudia Ferenz. It is made in Italy. It is leather. It is a larger, like medium large tote. It is like a very dark red. It's like a brick red leather croc embossed. And this is calf hair. Look at that. How cool is that? So that's calf hair. Um, beautiful handles. Um, it can be a shoulder bag or just a handbag. Silver tone hardware, excellent condition. All right, so you have um, the corners. I, I definitely conditioned this up really nice for you guys. All right, beautiful dark red leather crock embossed it is a zipper closure on the top inside is pink there's your claudia forens it says claudia forens made in italy genuine leather you do have a little bit of the um, discoloration of the glue when they were manufacturing the bag zipper and slip and nothing on that side so really cool bag, really different with the calf hair right here. So Claudia Ferenz, $60, six zero, beautiful. Next up, okay, this one might be my favorite of the haul. I have, you guys know I can't just pick one. I have like three, but this one is beautiful. This one is Genuine Leather by Anna Paula. Anna Paola, P-A-O-L-A, -A, Anna Paola. Look at this, just freaking look at it. That's all leather. Bigger size, you have the uh, removable, not adjustable shoulder strap on the top that has the gold tone hardware mixed in with the leather. It is it can be a crossbody. It can be a crossbody. If you need a drop measurement, let me know. You can also hold it by this chain here. Nice chunky gold tone chain. This bag is in excellent condition, but I like how it just hangs like that. This is all quilted black leather. Look at this with the, the rhinestone there. Absolutely stunning. Like literally nothing wrong with it. All leather, turn lock here. I showed you the back, right? Look at this interior, you guys. The quality is amazing. Zipper closure. One compartment on the inside. And it says, Anna Paola, genuine leather made in Italy. And then it says it all again in Italian. Zip and slips. Like new condition, gorgeous black leather, Anna Paola, crossbody or shoulder bag. And we're gonna do this one for 65, 65. Stunning. All right, next up we have, let me move all you guys closer. Come closer, darling, closer. All right, so we have a fossil. It is a fossil satchel in like a canvas, coated canvas and leather. It is in a dark brown, black and tan. You have an acrylic key, your fossil key. You have the handles on top. 
or you have the crossbody strap. So this is adjustable um, and removable, but it will stay a crossbody strap. Excellent condition on the handles. You have fossil on the side there. The back has a slip pocket. Another fossil on that side. The bottom is really nice. Little wear on the feet. An itty bitty bit little wear on the corners. See the white? Teeny, teeny, tiny, itty bit. Okay, teeny, tiny, tiny, itty bit on the corners. Um, so you open the bag, zip around, and the interior is one compartment. Try not to rip it and I can't really use it if it's just ripped into little pieces. So the interior has, it does have a little bit of staining. Uh, you can't even really see it. It's, it's light, but it's a couple little marks down there. So here's your zipper pocket with your fossil and some card slots, and then you have a slip pocket there. So a couple teeny tiny little issues with the fossil satchel. And we're going to do that for only $35, only $35. Then we have two Cole Hans. So the first one is this little cutie. This is a Cole Han crossbody, brown leather. It is adjustable, but will stay a crossbody bag. I actually love the hardware there. Gold tone, beautiful condition. Cute little crossbody Cole Han right there on the front. It is a like a like a reptile print and a snake print. Different color browns and black. Gorgeous. You have a pocket on the back. Excellent condition all the way around. Even on the turn lock. Bright orange interior. And the inside is one compartment with your Cole Haan, your zipper pocket, no slip. Phone fits, no problemo. Gorgeous little Cole Haan crossbody. And we're gonna do this one for 35. And then we have the Big Mama Cole Haan. So this, is, this one I thought was Coach when I first picked it up. It is Cole Haan, it is a bucket bag. It is a shoulder bag. This is a sturdy, thick leather strap. Look at this, you guys. Super sturdy leather strap. It can be adjusted shorter. So this is the longest the strap can go. It is a <laughs> dark brown, oh my gosh, I'm hitting it all over my face. <laughs> uh, bucket bag. Really great condition. Couple little teeny little scratches there on the bottom. Um, you have the Cole Haan on the side there. Beautiful dark brown pebbled leather and you have Cole Haan on all of the hardware. The inside has a beautiful um, pull, gold tone pull. Zipper, nice chunky zipper closure. The interior is black and clean Cole Haan leather card slots, slip pocket, zip pocket, more slip pockets. So nice big bucket shoulder bag in a uh, brown pebbled leather. And we're gonna do this one for 50, five zero. Next up, um, we have this one. So this is another unbranded, but I thought it was so cool. I can contemplate into keeping it. So it's unbranded and it's faux leather. It is a tan faux leather. You can hold it by the hand, hand, handbag handle here, or it has a removable, not adjustable studded strap with gold tone studs, spikes I should say. Um, it is in excellent condition and then look at the front. Look at that Jaguar head. Isn't that the coolest? 
It is in such nice condition. There's really nothing wrong with it. All the studs are accounted for. Um, so to get into the bag, I mean, look at that guy. So you hold this little piece here and you unclip it. Because the, the link is in the mouth and then you're in the bag. Remember, it's faux leather, unbranded, and there are no pockets or anything on the inside. Very clean, excellent condition all the way around. I love, love, love this bag. Super cool, we'll call this the tiger bag or, or um, panther bag or studded panther bag, um, faux leather, and it is going to be $35. All right, let's put up the ordering instructions and we'll keep moving. Okay, I think the crew next door went to lunch, so I let Dallas outside, so I might have to get up and close the door when he comes back in, so just letting you know. I don't like to put let him outside while all those construction guys are out there. All he's gonna do is bark. So that's why I'm not really too happy that they're building over there because I don't want Dallas barking his head off every time he's outside now. Anyway, let's keep going. So now we're up to the coach bags. So I have a, uh, two coach bags. The first one up is a black leather shoulder bag, kind of on the larger side. Black leather, gold tone hardware. It is a shoulder bag, double handles. Um, beautiful hardware. You have the hang tag here. You have a large zipper pocket here on the top. You have this flat pocket here on the front. Nothing on the back. It is in excellent condition all the way around. Um, even the handles. And it does say coach on all the hardware. The inside is a snap closure and it is three compartments. So um, the first section here in the back has your Creed with your zipper pocket. Now the only thing wrong with this bag is there's a little bit of um, tarnish on the pulls, okay? There's a little bit of wear on the pulls. Um, then you have your middle zip. And then you have the other side that has your slips. So excellent condition, just some wear on the inside pulls on the zippers. Um, and you have your black leather coach shoulder bag, $55. Then we have this coach. This is a gray and it's like a green gray patent leather. It is a shoulder bag. You can have it as a handbag or a shoulder bag. Um, it has silver tone hardware. This is, like I said, it's like a greenish gray color, patent leather with the gray C's, hang tag, excellent condition on this one. Actually, was that a little? No, that's the coach. So that says coach, but it looks like it's rub, but it's not. Okay, that's the back front handles are in really great shape the inside is a zipper closure you can remove this uh, shoulder strap by the way it is not adjustable though the interior is one compartment it is purple it is clean there's your creed with your zipper and your slips so this is a gray with kind of like a green gray um, Patent leather, shoulder bag or handbag, 48. Okay, this is another one of my favorites. This one is by Cynthia Rowley. If you like big bags, this is for you. It is a big bag and it is all calf hair and leather. This is all calf hair in a cheetah print, brown, tan, and black. There is your Cynthia Rowley in gold tone. This is all calf hair, you guys. You have the really pretty tassels right here. 
The handle is a snake print embossed leather. The bottom is a brown leather. I conditioned that, look how nice that looks. This bag is in excellent condition. The corners are excellent. I could not find any missing calf hair anywhere around the bag. Um, it is a shoulder bag and it is as slouchy as you fill it. So the inside is a magnet closure and it is one big old compartment. I might have to get him inside again. So there's your inside, Cynthia Rowley, with your zipper pocket and your slips. Clean um, canvas interior, big um, calf hair shoulder bag, Cynthia Rowley, $75. Let me get him. All right, here. so let's continue. We are now on to the Kate Spades. I have a few Kate Spade bags. The first one up, this one is new without tag. This is a beautiful green leather satchel by Kate Spade, gold tone hardware. It is a handbag or a crossbody bag. This is still in the packaging, gold tone hardware. This is removable and, and adjustable, crossbody only. Um, so like I said, it is uh, new without tag and there is nothing wrong with it leather and it is not stuffed so it is a um, structured bag and the inside zip closure okay you have your zipper pocket you have your little booklet and then you have your slip pockets so dark green leather structured satchel with a crossbody strap and this one is $75 new without tag then I have this one it's also like new condition this is a black leather um, and Saffiano leather actually I think it's all Saffiano leather um, black Kate Spade crossbody with some um, sparkle stripes the strap is not adjustable and not removable. So it is a crossbody. If you need a drop, let me know. Okay, really great condition on this one. Gold tone hardware, zip closure. It is a smaller size, um, but still like has a lot of room. So there is a slip pocket here and nothing on the other side. All right, so uh, black and sparkle Kate Spade crossbody, $48. Then we have the Kate Spade black pebbled leather. This one's so cute. Um, this one's also in really, really like new condition. Um, it does have a crossbody strap that is removable and adjustable you have the top handles you have gold tone hardware with your little bow and then you have the corners are excellent and the back <coughs> excuse me uh the inside is it looks like that when it's closed I didn't stuff it evenly, as you can tell. Okay, so the back section here with the raw suede, pink raw suede, you have your Kate Spade with your slip pocket. Then you have the middle zip section, which, has, which is leather on the inside. And then you have the front section which has a slip pocket. All right, so a lot going on in this little lady, black leather Kate Spade crossbody, and we're gonna do this one for 55, five, five. Up next, we have a brown 
saddlebag. This one is not branded, but I'll show you the inside zipper pocket. It's kind of weird, but I'll show you. So it is a um, unbranded brown pebbled leather saddlebag crossbody. You can adjust it, but it's still gonna be a crossbody bag. Nice, thick leather, bigger saddlebag. This is the calf hair on it. Um, there is like a natural pinkness to the, the hair right here. And then some of the calf hair is missing on this side. Like you can kind of see it in through here. All right, but you know, that's just how the bag is made um, because it's not going to be perfect. It's from an animal. <laughs> so there's the front. The back is beautiful. It just has like a little um, split right here, like a little um, scratch, I guess. Um, Bottom and corners are excellent. Okay, and then you're gonna open up the bag here. It is a snap closure. Beautiful, soft leather right there. Okay, then you have the inside. Oh wait, you do have a back pocket right here. It goes all the way down the bottom of the bag on the back. The inside, you have a front section and your main section. So the front section and then the main section has your zipper pocket. It says made in the USA. And then look, somebody put a Louis Vuitton zipper on it. <laughs> so I think because it doesn't really match the color of the actual zipper, I think it had broken off and maybe someone had it and they had... The, you know, the cobbler put the Louis Vuitton pull on it. So kind of, kind of interesting. So for this saddlebag, we are going to do $60, six zero. Um, and then we have one, um, we have this black leather crossbody bag by Montserrat de, de Lucha, Montserrat de Lucha. And it is a black leather crossbody bag. It can be adjusted, but it's gonna stay a crossbody bag and it can come off as well. I love the handles on it. I think it's pretty unique. It's in really nice condition. It's a beautiful, soft black leather. And you have the branding on the back right here. Beautiful condition. And then the inside, that is your closure. It's like a flap over magnet. Super soft leather. Super, super soft leather. Inside is one compartment. It actually still has the plastic on the branding. Zipper and no slip. Okay. So really cool circle handles or the crossbody strap Montserrat de Lucha $45 um, next up is again if you like big bags this one's for you this is an Emma Fox look how big this is who baby Emma Fox shoulder bag it is all leather black leather handles this is all a leather snake print um, in black and like a beige leather with a gold tone. You have your fox with the Emma Fox right here. You have the big, big hang tag in leather. The back has a zipper pocket. It is in excellent condition all the way around. Um, the inside now is what's cool. So you have two sections, the side, both sides equal one section underneath, and then you have the inside kiss lock. So the inside kiss lock has your Emma Fox with your zipper, I mean your slip, and more slips, and then you just Twist it to stay closed. You can unzip the sides. 
and the sides go all the way down into the bottom of the bag and is a separate compartment. Separate compartment from the kiss lock, okay? For me, I wouldn't use this because I would just lose things because this is way too big of a bag. But if you need lots of space, or this is a really cool carry-on or weekender, this is for you, Emma Fox, all leather, excellent condition, $75. Um, next up we have, so if you guys like denim, this is for you. I think this is just canvas though. I don't think it's actually denim. It's by a brand called PS, P like Paul, S like Sam. It is a bright pink, bright pink canvas. This is just the hang tag about the bag. Um, it has like a distressed side over here. It's like a little white side. It has gold tone hardware, this really fun guitar strap that is adjustable um, and removable. So it is like a little, um, you can take this off, doesn't have to stay on there. That's probably the front with the little gold tone. Excellent condition, has a little fringe all around. Top handles. Zipper closure. One compartment on the inside. There's your zipper pocket. There's a little slip pocket and the bottom has a cardboard piece in it. You can leave it there or you can take it out. So PS, hot pink canvas or denim. Uh, with the crossbody or shoulder strap, and we're gonna do this one for 35. Next up, we have a Maurizio Tayudi. I love saying that name, Maurizio Tayudi. It is Italian, and I love this bag. It is all leather, made in Italy. You have the um, shoulder strap here, which I'm pretty sure you can take. Let's see, does this unsnap? No. So it's not adjustable, it is just a shoulder strap. Um, and this bag you can do convertible. So it can be like this with your zips here and here, or you can take the strap off and put it here and make the bag a fold over, okay? So two ways to do it, beige, blue, and tan, beautiful. A nice denim alternative because it has the color of denim in it. Excellent condition, zipper on the top here. And you have your Maurizio Tayudi, made in Italy, genuine leather, zip, and one slip pocket down there. Really cool bag, two ways to wear it, and we will do this one for $48. Okay, we're almost done, guys. Hang in there. Next up, we have a Free People cloth little sling. It's um, It could be a crossbody or shoulder bag. It is large. It depends on how much you fill it. Um, take it antiquing um, to the festivals, whatever you would like. It has this really fun print on it with all these florals. Free People is written all over it. Bright colors. Same thing on all sides. It is in excellent condition. And the inside has no closure or anything. And there's no pockets. Just one big slouchy bag. Okay, so for the free people, 20 bucks. And it's probably like a cotton. Um, all right, up next we have an Amy Kestenberg. Love her bags. This is a crossbody or shoulder. You can adjust it. Nice thick handle, silver tone hardware. It has the leather on the ends here. Black pebbled leather. It's almost like a new buck leather. Okay, it's kind of got that like uh, wear into it. It's like... Um, I don't know if it's supposed to look like this, but I, I think it's cool. It's like a distressed pebbled leather. You got the zipper pocket here on top. Amy Kestenberg, got some studs, got a tassel. 
nice. Um, you can so you can wear the bag at at either D ring for the strap pocket on the back here. Leather along the bottom. All beautiful. Oh, and it has Amy Kestenberg on the hardware. And then you open up the top here. See this? It's like a new book. Like a pebbled new book. Is that a thing? And then on the inside, it did seem like somebody had a like a blush makeup explosion. I did clean it. There's just a little bit of a hint of color down there still, but it is clean. Um, there's your zipper and your slips. So still a really cool bag. I love it. Amy Kestenberg and it's black leather, $45. Um, okay, so that let's do the littles. So first up, uh, actually, let's show the ordering instructions. Okay. Most importantly, check the sold list. When you're done watching the video, refresh it so you're able to see the most up-to-date list. You'll know if something's available if you check the list. Okay, let's start with the littles. First up is a red and black faux leather quilted heart little bag by Betsy Johnson. You can wear this as a shoulder bag or you can remove this clip and put it here and it turns into a wristlet. It is in excellent condition. It is red and black, faux leather, gold tone hardware. Got your little heart pull and then inside has no pockets. Excellent condition, Betsy Johnson, phone fits, Shoulder or um, wristlet, $15. Next up, we have a kind of like a cornflower blue. Like It's like a, I think it's cornflower blue. It looks, it's coming across a little purple on screen, but it is blue. It's like a blue gray. Um, Kate Spade, Safiano leather wristlet, um, gold tone hardware, excellent condition. Okay, you guys. Excellent condition. You have a pocket in front. Excellent all the way around. Zipper on the top. Card slots on the inside. My big old phone does not fit. Kate Speed Cornflower, $20. Uh, this, this wallet is really cool. This is by um, American Leather. It is a tooled brown leather wallet. It is absolutely gorgeous. I conditioned it, it's beautiful. There's a little bit of darkening of the leather on the edges, but it's not anything serious. So you um, open up the top here. You have all of your card slots and slots. Um, the tag is right here for American Leather Company. And then you close that up and you have the zipper on top. Very clean, excellent condition, just a little bit of darkening around the edges. So American Leather Company, $20. Next up, we have a Junie and Burke. This can be a little shoulder bag or wristlet. Okay, it is black leather with gold tone hardware. I did condition it really nice. There's your Dooney and Burke. Got some like stitching along the top here. Beautiful, beautiful hardware. Uh, beautiful condition all the way around. Um, zipper on top. And it has the green suede with the red. I guess it's like a leather or patent leather. I don't know what that is, but you have a slip pocket there. And there is no um, serial number in this one, maybe because it's too small. But it's beautiful condition. I love it. Um, like I said, uh, shoulder or crossbody. No, my phone will not fit. Oh, wait. Yes. 
it does fit, but you might want to take off your pop socket. It'll fit better. So, um, Dooney and Burke wristlet or shoulder bag, black leather, $25. Next up, we have the rest are coach. And first up, we have a black leather money clip. If you want to get the man in your life, a money clip, it says coach right there at the bottom. It is black leather. It is in excellent condition. The magnet on it is very strong. <laughs> Very strong magnet, all black leather, beautiful coach. I'm trying to get you, there you go. Um, so for the money clip, black leather, 20 bucks. Next we have this little black leather pouch wristlet. I mean, maybe a pack of cigarettes would fit in here. I'm not sure, I don't smoke. Um, this measures five by three though, so you can check if you want to put maybe um, antibacterial hand sanitizer or whatever, or a pack of cigarettes or lip glosses, lipsticks, whatever. It's five by three, black leather, little wristlet. You can put this on your hanging on your bag if you want to. Um, beautiful soft black leather, uh, silver heat stamp, coach pocket on the front, excellent condition all the way around. Inside has one slot here and card slots there. Okay, five by three coach pouch wristlet, 20 bucks. We have this one, this is so cute, look at that. This is neon pink, okay? Not just like hot pink, it's neon. This is neon pink, it is a coach, leather coach coin pouch. It has the white, embossed um, tag coach on the back. There is some um, rub to the leather right in here on the edges and a little bit up here and a little bit down here. Okay, so there's some rub to the leather, but mostly on the back, which is nice. Um, and then the inside you just have a little compartment. So you can put your hand sanitizer in here. You can put lip, lip, probably just chapsticks would fit. Um, yeah, and there is, so there is definitely rubbing on this one. Neon pink coach coin pouch, 20 bucks. Um, next up, we have a coach patent leather cheetah wristlet. Um, it is brown, tan, and black. Nope, just brown, brown and tan, dark brown. Um, the only thing wrong with this is there's a little bit of the H missing. Um, other than that, we're good. You got your hang tag, you got the beautiful gold tone hardware, beautiful condition all the way around. Wristlet, nothing inside, it is purple. Beautiful, just missing a little bit of that H. And we're gonna do this for $20. Then we have a larger coach wristlet. This can also be a wristlet or a little shoulder bag or a little handbag, whichever you would like. This is neon, well, I would call this hot pink. I would call that hot pink and beige, leather and canvas, excellent condition all the way around, leather handle, silver tone hardware. There is no hang tag with this one though. Um, I might have one that would match. So if you're interested, when you email me, let me know. I'll send you pictures of which ones I have and it would be an additional $5. Zip on top, card slots, slip pocket, and there's a little stain down there, okay? So for this one, um, we're gonna do 25. Then we have some, then we have a um, Michael Kors hat. I know we're getting out of the winter weather, but I couldn't pass this up. It's new with tag. We're still gonna have cold days. Like right now, it's, I think it's like 30 degrees outside here in New York. Um, it is $48 on the price tag, Michael by Michael Kors. There's your MK silver logo. It is a gray color with the pom-pom. 
brand new with tag if you need to know the um, fabric content it is um, acrylic Acry acrylic no acrylic that was the different language so $48 on the tag and I will do it for 20 okay 20 bucks then we have the shoes these are Kate Spade so these are a black patent leather um, the platform goes from a one and a half to two and a half inches black um, patent leather with the buckle angle strap here so these are a size eight and a half however I tried them on and they fit me now here's the thing though with open toe shoes I do not like my feet coming anywhere near the edge okay I don't want my toes coming off the edge I don't want them anywhere near the edge so these for me are perfect because my toes do not come anywhere near the edge. If you don't care about that and you want them to fit you properly, then these are an eight and a half. These are an eight and a half um, on the tag, on the shoe. But I feel more comfortable wearing them as a size eight because my toes don't come anywhere near the edge of the shoe. So if you're picky like me, size eight and these will work. Otherwise, if you're an eight and a half, they will come right up to the edge and they are in excellent condition. Black patent leather, Kate Spade, size eight and a half if you don't want your toes anywhere near, I mean, size eight if you don't want your toes anywhere near the edge or size eight if you don't care, eight and a half if you don't care, oh my God, eight and a half on the shoe. Um, $20, 20 bucks, steal of a deal. All right, whew. That wraps up everything. Let me show the ordering instructions one more time while I go get the America's Thrift Supply Box and we'll see what we got. Okay, let's get into this box. So this is americasthriftsupply.com. You go to their um, mystery boxes section and they have a whole bunch of mystery boxes. Most of them launch every Friday at five Eastern. Um, and most of them are there all the time. You can use my code at checkout when you go to make a purchase. Right above where your total is, you'll see discount or promo code. Type Kristen, you have to spell it right, and you will save 15% every time you place an order, okay? So, let's see what we got. I did order another one of these. And I also have um, a thread up name brand handbag box coming as well. So these are five name brand bags. That's the name of it, five name brand bags. Um, they did raise the price, but then they lowered the shipping because it was $12.99 shipping. Now it's back down to $9.99. I ordered this on February 23rd. Um, with my 15% off code, it comes to $52.48 for five name brand purses. And usually they give more than five if one of them is a little shysty. All right, so there's first looks. That looks like a dust bag. I wonder what's in that. Usually these boxes are a little heavy on the Vera Bradley. Look at this. <laughs> There's bobby pins stuck to the magnet. Okay. <laughs> so this actually isn't a bad one because the spring is here. So this would make a good spring, summer, little tote. Take it to your farmer's markets or festivals. Um, it has a little itty bitty bit of dirtiness to the corners, but really nothing serious. It's a cute little tote. You have a zipper pocket in the front. Handles are good, snap magnet closure, and then the inside looks great. So you have a zipper pocket and slip. So really great condition on this one. Like I said, a little bit of dirtiness to the corners, but you can hardly even see it. So let's start off with this one at 20 bucks. All right, now let's see. I can't see what that, maybe that says Brighton. So let's see. Yes. Sweet. All right, let's see what we got in the Brighton. All right, well, first looks, I need to wipe that down because that looks like some mildew or mold or something. Let's see. 
Okay, this is pretty. I think I've I think I've sold one like this before. So um, it might be dirt. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna wipe it down. It is black, and it looks like it has brown edging. Um, it's leather. It's croc embossed. You have the heart here, the braiding down the front, the beautiful braided handles, and they are so soft. The back has a pocket. We're good in that. Yeah, I think the edges are brown and the rest of the bag is black. Like a dark brown. So let's open it up. All right, we're good. So the inside is a canvas and then it has your Brighton Creed with your zip and that's about it. I mean, is this bag dark brown? This bag might be a really dark brown because see the back of the leather, it's brown. I'm thinking this is a really dark brown bag. So I need to condition, the, the straps are very dry. I'm thinking it's brown and maybe these straps are black. The lighting in here sucks. So I'm gonna go with a really dark brown. I'm gonna clean it up and get it all conditioned and let's do it for 50 bucks, five zero. All right, here's another peek. Here is Vera Bre Oh, I think I see a Patricia Nash on the bottom. Yes. All right, this is kind of gross because it's definitely been used on the inside. It's very dirty. Um, it's not in terrible shape, but it's gonna be need to, it's gonna need to be cleaned. Um, it's like one of those like little toiletry bags, zip around. Um, all right, I guess I'll wipe it down. If somebody wants it, we'll do ten bucks. It is the Patricia Nash. All right, so here's another Vera. This is um, a little crossbody, uh, adjustable, black. Great for running around because it holds just your essentials. You have a back slip. This needs to be wiped down. Um, you have a front zip on the flap, um, ID slot, and then in here you have some card slots. And then the main compartment is a zip and there's nothing in there. Um, so good condition. It just needs to be um, wiped down, which is fine. 20 bucks on this one. Yes. Yes. How cute is this? Oh my gosh. And it's perfect for the spring and summer. Oh my God. I love it. I love it. All right, so this is a longer shoulder bag. Absolutely beautiful Patricia Nash. So you have the double tan leather handle. It's a little misshapen because it was in the box. Um, you have the Patricia Nash on the plate there. I mean, on the button. All right, perfect. Corners are excellent. Okay, there's a little bit of rub, but that's on the leather. This is the bottom leather right there that's a little rubbed. It's not the actual purse. There's the bottom, excellent. You have the pouch pocket, excellent. You have the, in wow. The interior has a middle zip. Zipper pocket, middle section. Beautiful. Other section has slips. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Um, 60 bucks. So that was one, two, three, four, five. It's exactly five because they were all in really great shape. Just a little wipe down in condition and we're good to go. So what a great box. So let me know what you guys thought. Give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It's free. Um,
did, did you have a favorite bag of the haul? What were your thoughts? Um, thank you again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.